Well, take a look. As you progress through the various imaging enhancements, this is high sun now, all right, you can very definitely see that this guy has a simian proto-human look. What you then do is you take the halves, all right, and you fold over. All right, let me go back one. You fold over this half, all right, onto that half so that you can actually get a mirror image, and it's very definitely primitive hominid. It's not Marilyn Monroe or Paul Newman. <laughs> Why is it primitive hominid? Might it have something to do with how old we think this thing might be? Circa half a million years. Hold that thought. Then what we do is we go back to the original, all right? And we then take the right half and we do the same thing. We fold that over and we get this. And I'm really gratified by your response, guys, because that's exactly, that's exactly my feeling. The hair on the back of my neck. When I realized that what we were looking at in the monument of Mars, the face on Mars was the fusion of the hominid and the feline. The fusion of this persona from this, I realized that what we were seeing was, of course, <laughs> Sphinxes, literal embodiments of sphinxes on two worlds linked by the fundamental constants of Sidonia over and over and over again.